Hello everyone, welcome to Media Nama. On July 3rd, the Indian Twitter alternative, WHO, announced that it was shutting down after failed acquisition discussions. The company's co-founder posted on LinkedIn saying that the company had explored partnerships with multiple internet platforms and media houses, but the talks didn't lead to any outcome. He explained that most companies did not want to deal with user-generated content and the wild nature of a social media platform. To understand the challenges ahead of anyone seeking to create a social media platform in India and to get insight into the situation, we have with us Nikhil Pava, the founder and editor of Media Now. So just to start off, Nikhil, uh, I was wondering if you could tell us, according to you, what would have been the main factors leading to Ku's failure despite the initial promise to be an alternative to Twitter? Uh, thanks, Kami. I think uh, one of the things that I've noticed after the shutdown of Coup is that there have been conversations in the startup ecosystem about, you know, why don't we have our own social network in India? Why don't we have our own search engine? Why don't we have our own messaging platform? So essentially, global players like Google, Facebook, WhatsApp uh, are dominating the Indian space. And Coup uh, was an alternative to Twitter that came up. Um, and gain prominence, especially around the time that the IT rules came out and uh, Twitter was being criticized for not taking down content that the government wanted it to take down. Uh, sorry, Twitter was not taking down content that the government wanted to take down. And that left to a preference for that period of time for government officials to go on to an alternate platform. And they decided that was going to be cool. So, you know, um, the thing is that First, let's unpack the issue about why don't we have our own uh, what's, uh, WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook, whatever, uh, before we go in. And that links to the reasons for why, uh, you know, who didn't succeed. Um, so if you think about it, uh, and let's look at search engines first, right? India had Indian language search engines alongside Google. Uh, many, many years ago, there was Web Dunya, there was Guruji, there was something called Raftar.com, Rediff had not searched in multiple languages. So there was competition. Um, you know, but it's difficult to compete with the scale and the sophistication of the technology that, that Google brings to the table. Um, and uh, people wanted the search engine. They didn't just want an Indian language search engine. Uh, the world is uh, is accessible to us through search engines and people want more than just what Indian language content can provide. So that didn't work out. Guruja.com even launched a music search at one point in time. Uh, in fact, uh, they were, the search results were included pirated websites, music, and you know uh, the founders were even arrested once and we reported it at Vidyanama. And eventually they pivoted to running an ad network, which is bought by Flipkart. Um, you know, when you look at messaging services that compete with WhatsApp, think about it. We, there were several uh, messaging apps that launched in India, both Indian and international. There was Nimbus, there was Gupshap, which was from an Indian company. Hike was uh, from Kavan Bharti Mittal, uh, backed by SoftBank. Uh, there was something I remember called Imzi. Micromax had a uh, messaging app called Hookup. Uh, you know, so there were several of them, but none of them could really compete with WhatsApp. Uh, some of them tried Indian languages as well. Um, and, you know, Plustex was one uh, which had Indian language messaging very early, even before Hike did, I think. And uh, eventually they would just have two and a half lakh uh, Indian users or 250,000 Indian users uh, when it was acquired by Paytm and Paytm eventually shuttered it. Uh, you know, so India is a very different market from a China or a South Korea or a Japan where apps like Line and, uh, you know, um, WeChat and, 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 and uh, Kakao uh, are popular. Um, and uh, because in, in India, people understand the English script, uh, even if they may not understand necessarily the English language, uh, that base is fairly large. So in India, English is an aspirational language. So it's easier for global companies to make their mark in India because the uh, because that user base is is important. It's powerful. It's uh, it, it it's it's um, 
it's a language that all of us speak not not every indian but many indians can they communicate in the english language script so difficult for example for whatsapp uh, to get uh, to compete with whatsapp because whatsapp already has all of that and the moment you switch to keyboards that can allow for language text it doesn't matter which app you use what's an english app will works as fine so uh, you know when you look at social media there was i remember yari.com uh, to compete with facebook at that time there was even a tech social network called tech tribe that came up uh, so everyone tried to compete with the global players with a with a product that mimics them the real question is what are they bringing to the table that is a differentiator who was almost a copy paste of twitter um it could have had larger text but is that really a key differentiator uh, you know facebook has tried to compete with twitter with something called threads but uh, you know i signed up for threads hung around for a couple of days i'm also on twitter and decided that look this there's nothing new here so but i don't want to read the same messages to the same people in the same platform what is it that threads is doing differently in the same way what is it that who is doing differently where is the product innovation where is the product differentiation where is a different use case we use linkedin because it's for professionals we use uh facebook and instagram for friends and family and instagram also for trends for example uh, or, or what's trending that they keep surfacing interesting content uh, tiktok is a very different interface and a very fast and easy to consume addictive interface um you are so, uh, so you know every platform has to have its own use case uh, what is a use case that they created for uh, for ku that took it beyond the tourism habit which is people sign up stay for a few days look around uh, and then leave they might return later but you know uh, it it's it, what makes it tricky what makes it sticky are basically network effects so there are people there that you want to read or you want to interact with that you don't have otherwise and another thing sticky that makes it sticky is the product innovation are you doing video uh, instagram started with primarily photographs uh, you know uh, and then they evolved to uh, they evolved to to video tiktok started as a video primarily a video platform where people were dancing to songs or mimicking songs so what specific need the school satisfy is a question that we really didn't get an answer to because social networks are a mature market uh, it's a market that requires a lot of funds um, and you know it requires a lot of time uh, and constant innovation to keep bringing people back to the platform um, i don't think they achieved that i didn't see a reason to go back to ku Uh, and i think that might be true for many people there, there was a point when uh, and the founders have said this in their note that they could have beaten uh, twitter if they had the funds and so that's a market problem uh, the indian market maybe doesn't have sufficient funding to chase uh, social media but the other problem that they've also highlighted in their note uh, is that when they were talking to larger internet companies for partnerships or to media houses for partnerships those guys turned back and said that they don't want to deal with user generated content and the wild nature of a social media company now that's interesting you know it's a telling comment because social media platforms are difficult and expensive to manage uh, you know the it rules that came up uh, earlier uh, in 2021 which is what led to the issue with twitter and delhi police landing in at, at, in the twitter office um you know they have increased compliance requirements and content moderation costs beyond what the it act had intended and then uh, there is a sense that we got from uh, rajiv chandrasekhar the former it minister of state last year when he was doing a road show when he was going and doing things in different cities in india about the amendments to the digital india act and he said that you know uh, they need uh, they want to ensure that you know there is more accountability and uh, effectively uh, he said that things are, are 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 going to become 
more difficult for platforms because he was saying, let's do away with safe harbor protections, which means safe harbor is what protects platforms from the liability of content that you and I may, may actually put up on it. So if that's the thinking of the government and there's a discipline they act that they're working on, the effect of that is that no one will want to take on the liability uh, for starting a social media business. And that's, again, uh, someone like a Facebook or a Twitter might be willing to do it. Uh, but Indian businesses don't want that liability. Building advertising out on a social network is also extremely difficult and complicated and time-consuming. So one is a product problem uh, uh, and, and, and the use case problem. And the other is the, uh, the regulatory problem. Um, and, you know, I don't... Uh, when people talk about saying that this market uh, needs protection uh, so that and do what China did, uh, I think that's a very problematic position to take uh, because, you know, the second order effect of the push for additional sovereignty, like China's, is that there is increased regulation. There's going to be surveillance, there's going to be censorship, there will be crony capitalism. Um, and then digital authoritarianism is just around the corner. So I don't think there'll be venture capital funding for a market that behaves like it's in the 1970s. Uh, this is 2024. Uh, we need to take a more progressive outlook towards uh, Indian businesses. We want them to compete and win in a global marketplace. We want them to compete with the, the biggest, the best global companies in India and beat them at it. And of course, if there are issues of monopolies and monopolization, we have the Competition uh, Act to deal with that. And, you know, it's this. I see this often whenever there are startups that don't succeed because... Uh, and, and there's a blame on big tech. But, you know, let's also look at it from another perspective. There are Indian companies that have beaten global ventures, right? So, for example, uh, Nokia.com beat out Monster. Uh, Monster was a global major at that point in time. India Mart has successfully, you know, survived and grown in spite of uh, multiple attempts by Alibaba to compete with them. Zomato and Swiggy beat off Uber Eats and Food Panda uh, in India. And the, both are Indian companies. You look like Make My Trip, you look at Ease My Trip, Fixy Go, are all success stories in travel. And travel is a highly commoditized business with several global players. So it's not that there aren't Indian startups that are succeeding. It's just that in areas like search, social, uh, you know, and the, uh, there are already established players and entering that market afresh without a fresh idea or a fresh approach to it is what is difficult and complicated. Uh, you look at Zepto and you look at uh, uh, look at Blinkit, they entered an, in, an Indian company enters an established market in India in e-commerce where Amazon and Flipkart are there and they're giving them solid competition because they took a different approach to it. So I'm saying uh, we let's not mess with the market dynamics in the Indian uh, in the Indian startup ecosystem, right? And I don't see this. I see so who has failed, but I see this, but I don't think the founders have failed. You know, it's a journey for them. Aprameya and uh, Radhakrishnan used to uh, run Taxi for Show, which competed with Ola, and they lost. Uh, uh, Ola won, and, but then they the found it cool, they ran it for a while, they learned in the process. I'm sure they will have success in the future. And, you know, as I say, companies fail, but founders don't. Uh, I don't think this is the end of the road for them when it comes to their startup journey. And I also don't think uh, this is the end of the road for anyone to launch a new social media product because TikTok also came out of nowhere. But you need that innovation for it to work. Um, one more thing I wanted to ask you about was uh, who mentioned that it would be happy to share some of its assets with people who you know, want to enter uh, social media in India. Uh, yeah. They're calling it a digital public good. I was just wondering how feasible uh, and impactful a uh, digital public asset like this could be. Um, well, it depends on whether someone has the money uh, to actually spend on trying this afresh uh, who has assets they have a product that works they have uh, they probably have users 
that can be reactivated with a new service. But whoever buys this asset needs to think of a different approach to it, a different use case. Uh, because putting together a software that mimics Twitter is not very difficult. For it to, to make it scale is difficult and expensive. And so that's where the assets the who lie because they did have a larger a large user base at one point in time. But uh, really, there's in in a mature market like social media, there's more to it than that. It's a good starting point for anyone who wants to enter the space. I'll tell you that uh, to have those assets available. Uh, but it's not going to be a short journey. It's going to take time. Thanks, Nikhil. Uh, for anyone who wants to learn more about who about their uh, or their plans and about other social media platforms, uh, you can take a look at MediaNamas website.